Imagine a robot that can cook your meals, clean your home, work in factories, and even sit down to play games with you. That's exactly what Elon Musk promises with Tesla's Optimus Gen 3, a machine designed not just to serve, but to learn, adapt, and possibly even surpass humans. In a recent interview, Musk revealed that Optimus Gen 3 will launch this November with a bold new design and powerful updates compared to the current Gen 2.5 model. While rumors of a Gen 4 have been circulating, Musk confirmed those are completely false. For now, Tesla is focused on perfecting Gen 3, which can perform up to 100 extended tasks daily and 3,000 overall, running nearly 22 hours on a single charge thanks to advanced self-learning and simulation systems. Musk envisions Optimus as a true all-rounder, cooking, cleaning, managing household chores, working in factories, and even handling restaurant deliveries. But that's only the beginning. He also teased his ability to entertain, play games, and interact in real time by learning user preferences and habits. With Tesla's proprietary hardware and software, Optimus won't just be a helper. It could become a real companion. However, don't be fooled by the yellow and black Optimus you've seen recently. That's still version 2.5, not the upcoming Gen 3. The 2.5 model brought smoother lines, covered joints, fewer exposed wires, and a friendlier design language, along with integration of Tesla's XAI voice assistant. But Gen 3 takes things further, focusing on advanced functionality, more degrees of freedom, and true human-like movement. Even more impressive, Optimus Gen 3 will boast upgraded battery efficiency, just two hours of charging for 22 hours of work. Pricing, however, may no longer stay at the flat $20,000. Instead, costs will likely vary depending on the version and task capabilities. Musk admits the toughest challenge lies in creating flexible, human-like hands. He explains that nearly everything in our world, tools, objects, and environments, was designed for human use. So, if a robot is to replace human effort, it must have hands capable of the same delicate, precise functions. In fact, Musk claims building these hands at scale is harder than producing the Cybertruck, harder than Gigafactory, and nearly as ambitious as Starship. All eyes are now on November. If Tesla delivers, Optimus won't just be another robot. It could redefine what it means to live, work, and play alongside machines. Musk highlighted that the hand is an evolutionary marvel with over 27 degrees of freedom and a tendon system powered by forearm muscles. Like a puppet mechanism, it's both strong and precise. With hands, humans can swing a bat, play the piano, thread a needle, or build a car. No other body part offers such versatility. To create a truly multifunctional robot, the hand must be solved first. This is where most robotics companies fail. They can build machines that run, jump, or play ping pong, but not one that can peel an orange or wash vegetables. Tasks people actually want robots to handle. Tesla's next upgrade changes that. It nearly doubles the robot's capabilities and marks a turning point before mass factory deployment. As Musk said, a major hardware revision should be ready by the end of this year. This could include a next-gen drivetrain that boosts speed, flexibility, and range of motion, especially in the legs, hips, and waist, bringing movement closer to human agility. Tesla may also upgrade the battery with its 4,680 cells. The prototype's 2.3 kilowatt hour battery allowed 6 to 8 hours of use. A shift of 3 kilowatt hours could extend that to 22 hours, though at the cost of added weight. Still, the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks. Alongside this, Musk confirmed a new version with a major computing upgrade, what he now calls AI5, 10 times more powerful than its predecessor. It delivers 700 to 800 watts of processing power compared to the previous 300. Despite this leap, it's designed to be energy efficient. Optimus idles at just 100 watts and moves at 500, making the balance of power and efficiency ideal. Tesla is even exploring distributed computing with this new chip, hinting at fresh revenue streams. By the end of this year, Optimus Gen 3's hands are expected to reach 22 degrees of freedom, a breakthrough Musk has confirmed multiple times. This will allow it to play instruments, handle delicate objects, water plants, and perform countless human-like tasks. No competitor, from China to North America, dares to make such promises because they lack Tesla's technology and vision. 
Even now, with only 11 degrees of freedom, Tessabot can already grip fragile items like eggs or battery cells, things other robots can't reliably do. With 22, its dexterity and precision will be unmatched. Improvements will also extend across its body, including the neck, legs, and hips, though sitting may still be a challenge for now. So, how does Gen 3 differ from Gen 2.5? Musk believes these robots will go far beyond factory roles. In the future, Optimus could help with household chores, act as a babysitter, provide companionship, or even serve as a teacher for children. It sounds like science fiction, but Musk insists this future is closer than we think. Imagine a future where every child has a personal tutor right at home, one that never tires, never loses patience, and always find the best way to teach. That's the promise of Optimus. Instead of parents scrambling after work to help with homework or hire tutors, families could simply say, Hey, Optimus, help Henry with his assignment. Optimus wouldn't just explain. It would adapt, finding the simplest way to make concepts click. With voice, facial, and behavior recognition, Optimus can sense a child's mood and adjust its approach. If the child is tired, it might shift to games or fun stories, turning study time into something they actually enjoy. Beyond teaching, it can manage schedules, remind kids of deadlines, and even structure their breaks, instilling discipline without constant parental supervision. For parents worry about safety, Tesla has built in remote monitoring with cameras and an OLED display. You can check progress, communicate instantly, and feel present even while at work. Soon, Optimus will even offer customizable personalities and voices, learning your preferences without repeated instructions. This isn't just a tool. It's a companion tailored to your child, patient, and available 24-7. Families may one day rely less on traditional tutors and more on Optimus to guide learning. But here's the question. Why hasn't Tesla's Gen 3 Optimus been mass-produced yet? After the viral video of the bot in Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff's office wearing a yellow suit, debates heated up. Critics say it still moves too slowly, with motions that seem remotely controlled. Its design updates? Mostly new hands and a different finish. Far from the revolutionary leap Elon Musk once promised. Yet, those hands are the centerpiece of Tesla's vision. Musk believes hands are what transform intelligence into action, tools that build human civilization. That's why over half of Tesla's resources for Optimus go into perfecting them. Musk has repeatedly said the bot will have hands with 22 degrees of freedom, just five short of humans, closing the gap between machine and man. Imagine a robot with hands so realistic, you mistake them for human. Tesla's new Optimus showcases refined hands. No visible wires, joints, or actuators. Sleek, polished, almost lifelike. Yet in the demo video, the hands don't actually do anything beyond slight movements, leaving many viewers skeptical. Some even question whether they function at all. Another highlight during the showcase was Optimus Grove voice system, a feature that instantly caught attention. For a humanoid robot, the ability to respond automatically to questions is no small achievement. Imagine a machine not just performing tasks silently, but actually speaking back, giving you the sense that it's aware, present, and engaged. That's exactly what Tesla is attempting with Optimus. The system has the potential to transform the way we view robots. Not as silent tools, but as partners capable of communication. Yet, while the idea is remarkable, the execution isn't flawless. The voice often sounds faint, carrying with it a slight hesitation. There's a noticeable delay between the question and the answer, as if Optimus is carefully piecing its words together. For some, this might be frustrating. We are used to instant replies from virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa, so any lag feels like a step back. But when you look deeper, it becomes clear that this delay is not simply an efficiency. It is a result of something far more complex. Elon Musk himself explained that the integration of Optimus' voice with its physical body is a massive technical challenge. Tesla is designing the robot to mimic human muscles through sensors and cable systems. Every time the robot speaks, its body also has to respond naturally. Its head turning, its arms moving, 
its posture shifting, sinking voice with movement in a way that feels natural to human observers, is an entirely new frontier. It's easy to forget that humans required millions of years of evolution to master speech and coordinated motion. Tesla is attempting to compress that into a few years of engineering. This is where vision becomes more important than immediate perfection. Early attempts might look awkward, but they're stepping stones towards something extraordinary. Consider the first mobile phones: heavy, slow, and expensive. Today, we carry sleek supercomputers in our pockets. Optimus is on that same path, and while his current voice feels hesitant, the day will come when it speaks with the clarity, emotion, and rhythm of a human being. Still, the biggest disappointment for many wasn't the voice. It was the speed. After a year of development, Optimus' walking ability shows only minor improvements. The Gen 3 model is faster and more stable than its early prototypes, but when compared to human movement, it remains stiff, mechanical, and slow. Tesla's goal is for Optimus to reach speeds of eight kilometers per hour, roughly the pace of a brisk human walk. Yet today, it struggles to exceed three kilometers per hour. That's faster than the earliest versions, but still underwhelming when we picture a robot that should one day move seamlessly among us. The issue is not just about speed; it's about confidence in movement. Humans don't simply walk; we glide with balance, adjust the rein, and recover gracefully when we stumble. Robots, on the other hand, are still learning. Every step Optimus takes is a calculated dance between motors, sensors, and algorithms. The slightest imbalance can cause hesitation, and hesitation translates into slowness. For Optimus to truly capture people's imagination, it must walk naturally, smooth, confident, and almost indistinguishable from human motion. Nobody wants to invest in a robot that shuffles awkwardly like a machine from a 1980 science fiction movie. Instead, the world is waiting for a robot that can move with grace, adapt to its environment, and exude the confidence of companion rather than the fragility of prototype. But here's where perspective matters: breakthroughs never arrive fully polished; they arrive clunky, flawed, and incomplete. The Wright brothers' first flight lasted just 12 seconds, barely lifting off the ground. Yet it changed the world forever. Likewise. Optimus slow shuffle may seem unimpressive today, but it represents the first steps of a future where robots may walk into our homes, our workplaces, and even our hospitals, helping, serving, and partnering with us in ways we can barely imagine. Yes, right now Optimus moves like a cautious beginner, but isn't that exactly how all pioneers start? A toddler does not sprint on day one; it falls, stumbles. And rises again until one day it walks confidently. Optimus is in his toddler phase, and every awkward step is part of a story unfolding before our eyes. The real question is not whether Optimus can walk faster, but whether humanity can look past its current limitations and see the bigger picture. We are witnessing the dawn of a new era, where machines are no longer confined to factories, but begin to share our spaces, our tasks, and even our conversations. And perhaps that is a lesson Optimus teaches us today. Progress isn't always dazzling, but it is always forward. What seems unimpressive in the moment can become revolutionary with time. Just as the faint, hesitant voice of Optimus will one day flow like natural speech, its clumsy steps will evolve into confident strides. And when that day comes, we may look back at these early moments not as disappointments. But as the humble beginnings of machine that changed the world, don't forget to subscribe to Auto Garage for more fascinating and informative content. Thanks for watching.